<sighs> Cheers. How's it going everyone? My name is Reef James. I'm an RF slash network engineer from Australia. And today we're gonna to be talking antennas. Uh, well, not only antennas, but RF equipment in general, antennas, coax, things like that, right? Uh, and more specifically, can you get away with using cheaper gear, right? Can you get on Amazon uh, or AliExpress, Alibaba, and, and, and buy gear that will work for you? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, like you might be able to do it and it might work fine, but it's not going to be reliable and you might not get what you, what you pay for or what you think uh, it is, right? And that, that's the difference really between buying a reputable brand name product and, and something sort of more mass produced from China is you don't have that reliability. You don't know that what you're buying is actually what you're buying, right? Um, if you buy something from, from AliExpress or, or Amazon, buy an let's just talk antennas, right? Let's, let's think a typical outdoor, you know, omnidirectional antenna. If you buy something like that from Amazon, you're, you're probably not going to get a data sheet. And even if you do get a data sheet, it's, it's, it's very likely going to be inaccurate. Um, <laughs> I spent a, a time doing a, a fair bit of testing with my job um, on, on these cheaper um, you know, RF antennas. And even if you do get the data sheet with them, a lot of the time, more often than you would expect, the, they don't perform <laughs> as to what they say that they do perform on the data sheet. So if you buy a cheap antenna and it has a data sheet, it's probably not going to perform that uh, that good anyway, uh, and most of them don't even come with a data sheet. So, so rule one would be if it doesn't come with a data sheet, just straight up don't buy it. If you can't find a data sheet for it, don't buy it. Uh, and why? Like, why are they? Why are they so? What's the difference? Like, hardware wise, what's the difference between a cheap antenna and, and an expensive brand name antenna? Well we're talking, if we have a proper brand name antenna, it's going to be well sealed. The, the big issue with, with antennas, outdoor antennas, is, is they need to be well sealed. Otherwise, you get moisture, you get water ingress getting inside of the antenna and that just, it, it causes huge issues with, with your antenna characteristics and, and just the overall longevity of the antenna, okay? You buy a cheap antenna, it's probably not gonna be well sealed. It might work well for a year and then you get water in it and then things corrode or the water gets in there and it, it changes the way that the antenna uh, works and, and you have issues, okay? Rule number one, that, that, that's reason number one why you would buy a, a more expensive antenna. And, and the, big, the big reason uh, here, number two, is that when you buy a, a reputable brand name product, they test it, right? Before they, before they ship it out, they will, well, they should test it so you know that you're getting something that is going to work and, and will be reliable. So that's just not gonna happen if you buy a mass produced product, it just won't happen, okay? Um, obviously, you know, people's time is worth money, so it's going to cost more to buy from a reputable brand it's going to cost more, but it's worth it, right? Especially with, with something like helium, where you're talking, you know, it's an investment, right? Helium is an investment. I, I see it as an investment and you, you should as well, right? You're putting in money and you're expecting a return, right? And, and, and at that, a very lucrative return. So you really just don't want to skimp out on your gear. You want it to be reliable, you want to know what you're getting uh, and you want it to last long term uh, and that's why you pay for the gear, right? Your, your brand name antenna, it's probably going to be uh, not a fiber optic, but um, fiberglass radium covering it, uh, whereas your cheap one's probably going to be a, a crappy plastic that will degrade in the sun and all sorts of things like that. You've just got a whole heap of issues. Same goes for coax, right? If you're buying a cheap uh, coax from China, it's not going to be likely, it's not going to be tested before it's shipped out to you. So you don't know whether it's going to work. Right? You don't know if the connectors have been joined on properly. They haven't tested it. If you buy locally, uh, they're, going to, they're going to test it before they ship it. 
because their brand is on the line and they want to stick up for their brand, you know. Uh, it, it's just really, it's just really worth it. It's not worth buying cheap RF gear. And that's, that's basically why. So just as a recap, the first reason is the build quality is better. You're going to get a longer life out of the product. Second reason is you actually know what you're buying. So what they say uh, that you're buying is, is actually how it will perform. So if you're buying an antenna that operates within this frequency range, it is going to operate within that frequency range. Likely, right? Likely. Whereas if you buy something cheap with no data sheet, you really don't know what the hell it is, okay? You really don't know what it is. They could say that it's a, you know, if you just search like helium antenna or LoRa antenna, you'll get some results, right? But, you know, is is that cheapy antenna, is, is that for the LoRa band maybe over in China, which is like 400 megahertz? Or is it the European band, which is like 860 megahertz? Or is it the, the US or the AU band? It's like 900 megahertz, you know? relatively close but with antennas and, and, and RF it does matter where the antenna is tuned probably doesn't matter too much when we're getting up around that you know between 860 and, and 900 megahertz between the European and, and the American bands it might a little bit but if you buy one that's you know tuned for the for the Chinese bands that lower frequency you're gonna have dramas anyway don't do it <laughs> the TLDR is it's not worth it, okay? Just buy reputable brand name stuff. You're gonna save yourself a whole heap of hassle and that's what you want. That is what you want. So give us a like if I've, if I've helped you out here. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll respond. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If, if you have any big questions where you feel like it might be a couple of responses, uh, jump down in the Discord. Uh, the link is in the uh, description and yeah, join Join the Discord, post in one of the channels, and uh, yeah, I'll respond. And, and subscribe. <laughs> Just please subscribe. I need more subscribers. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. See ya.